good morning and win forever thank you so much for tuning in my name is timothy profitable and this is your favorite channel levoy we handle your spirituality economic and social matters we do commentaries now before i say what i wanted to say i want you to go to the subscribe button press it and in the notification bell just press all and wait for all the notifications when we upload a new video you will receive it don't leave without subscribing that's the best way you can support us subscribe watch our videos share them everywhere where you can and call your friends to do the same recommend us to the good people of your family your offices and every other places that you go thank you so much we are doing good stuff and if anything you don't want to hear write it there in the comment section we are going to adjust where necessary and god bless you by god's grace we are waking up in a wonderful time we are closing the year we are in the last month of 2023 now before i go so far i want you to remind yourself and i too reminding you that we started so far behind that is and uh, we did many episodes during the transitions of squam and uh, there are many prophets that came up when uh, prophet tb joshua went to be with the lord and uh, mama evelyn joshua god was vindicating her to leadership position of squam so many things happened one of the things that really happened was the arise of the prophets that were purposely and uh, supposedly would be the sons and daughters of prophet tb joshua so there is a group that arose a group of prophets i'm not talking about disciples now i'm talking about the group of prophets that arose and after they arose they came up with the one prophetic uh, channeling of um one of them let me say prophetess tina that's how she called herself i believe that's how she called herself even now uh, came up and said there will be nothing nothing squan prayer mountain should be a museum and squan sanctuary should remain a washer don't go away we are coming back right away Welcome back and that's exactly what we want to do now is coming in with the reality of the prophetic timeline perfect timeline from the day that prophet tb joshua passed on until now so the prophets that spoke that squan was supposed to be closed what are they doing now okay before we go so far i want us to see one of the episodes we did one prophetess came on air and said squan should be closed what happens next you know what to do so i will leave the judgment to you i will leave the comments to you if you have anything you want to speak to us about go down there to the comment section and talk to us on what happens on what goes on and what takes over and everything that you say will be valid and very much valid so let's watch what happens here uh, so soon of uh, from what it's uh, talked about this is a message for those who are still there thinking that they can carry on his work they can fit into his shoes and they want to continue to hold church service this is the message do not go the sound is service. in the tent where she is working that's not our sound the place to a tourist place the power of god is still there you can allow people less just like them you see where paul and silas when they prayed and the prison condition i mean the prison was broken you see they still left the place like that people still go there just to look at it as a tourist view and one 
or two of them, you can sometimes say a prayer there and the Lord can equally release them. So that is how the synagogue church of all nation is supposed to be. So this is the message. If any of you should try to say you want to continue holding service, what God has shown you, not once, not twice, not thrice, I mean, it has always continued, there will be a forceful shutdown. We also saw Savior Carl uh, also talked about the same and uh, some other prophets were talking about the same. Now, I don't want to cite any prophet and I don't want to talk. And that's what I was talking about. They were talking about forcible shutdown. And now you can see how faith in the prophecy of Prophet T.B. Joshua the legacy continues. And that's what I wanted you to see and find what will really be happening and uh, after the legacy continues. So do go up there and subscribe one more time. Keep watching. Watch our episodes that we passed by from last year up to now. God bless you as we keep it in this channel. My name is Timothy Prophet once again, Blevoy TV. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters. See you in the next episode. God bless you and give you.